click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around the clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. A WWE superstar was told before their release, remember to click the bell, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. A massive WWE star was told, you'll always have something to do with the WWE. You will never be released. You'll never go away. You'll always be involved in this company. And then Cameron Grimes reveals how the WWE executive lied to him about his release. I mean, this guy was heartbroken. This guy was sad. This guy was in the dumps. I mean, you want to talk about a guy that was an actual character. He might not have had the build of a Hulk Hogan, a Roman Reigns, a John Cena, a Randy Orton, a Brock Lesnar, but this man had character. Rowdy Roddy Piper didn't have the best build of a body, but he had a character. He had a persona. And for Cameron Grimes in the Triple H era, listen, everybody is talking about how great and how renowned and how superb the Triple H era is. And it is great. It is great. However, for it to end like this for Cameron Grimes, you can tell he didn't expect it. You, you can tell he didn't see this on his face. You, you can tell the sadness, the sorrow that was Cameron Grimes and how he was. He was now, it's not only that he was released, he was lied to. He says, you'll always, he was, actually, no, the exact words I think were, you'll always have a place in the WWE. Well, his place obviously is now on the unemployment line. And you got to fail for these guys because these guys bust their ass. They put their body on the line. Something terrible and heinous, you know, heinous could happen to these guys, whether it be a broken back, a broken neck, whether it be a sabbatical, whether it be a retirement, whether it be a massive surgery, whether them winding up in a wheelchair. And when you tell somebody that you're going to be involved with the WWE for the foreseeable future, only to get released, only to get canned, only to be receiving the pink slip, Guys, your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on Cameron Grimes. That's a breaking news update, a brand new update. Because here on Sean View, you know, it's asked, Sean, why do you do multiple videos a day? Well, very simple. It's to keep you in the know and keep you updated if there's any changes or developments or last-minute, um, you know, changes. Like I said, changes. It's all about change because the WWE is always subject to change. Also, we got breaking news on good old JR, Jim Ross. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Ross is expressing a desire to do additional commentary. Additional commentary. Now, we already know he's in TN, I mean, AEW. We already know he's involved in AEW, AEW. However, in a breaking news announcement, with Jim Ross looking to do, do additional commentary, is he going to end his tenure in the WWE? We all know Jim Ross is synonymous with WWE commentary. Hell, he's a WWE legend. He's a WWE Hall of Famer. Do you want to see Jim Ross back in the WWE doing additional commentary? Also, breaking news, a massive star may be pulled from WWE TV. And who is that massive star? Well, we're going to bring that to you right here on Sean's View because Luke Gallows is welcoming his son into the world. Luke Gallows, at 40 years old, is welcoming his son into the world. Also, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, fans, and subscribers, Jay Uso requests a spot. Now, this, this is something. Request a stranger not to ask to spot him in the gym. If it's one thing you don't do, you don't bother, you don't go up to someone, a wrestler who's in that mindset, who's in that frame, who wants to work out and go balls to the wall, you don't bother them, you don't ask for a picture, you don't ask for an autograph. Also, Grayson Waller is bragging about his supremacy in his one-year journey since the WWE Draft last year. And we all know the WWE Draft is coming. I got some insane breaking news on the WWE Draft that has a tie-in to the NFL. You're going to want to subscribe. Click the bell. If you're an NFL fan and a WWE fan, or just an NFL fan, or just a WWE fan, you're going to want to subscribe. Click the bell. Turn on all notifications. Also... Ladies and gentlemen, this is massive. This is breaking. This is just coming through my desk right now. Tony Khan did everything he could to get a rating, a big rating. He got attacked. He got assaulted. He got taken out, right? The AEW Dynaship viewership saw a decrease. It went down. 
Tony Khan put his body on the line. He went in there in that ring to get destroyed and destructed, and the viewership saw a decrease. What does that tell you about AEW? Now, I'm not one of those sour AEW fans. I want to see them succeed. I want to see them prosper. Hell, AEW was supposed to be the company that was going to put the WWE out of business. They were supposed to be the company that was going to challenge the WWE. They were going to make sure that the WWE was going to have to really backpedal and reshuffle. And Well, now look at that. It's AEW that's going to have to reshuffle. And now Tony Khan is pulling out all the stops to sell the All Elite Attack in the WWE Draft. 2024 rules have been revealed on the line. And, and another breaking news update, viewers, fans, and subscribers. A top indie star's contractual status with TNA is being revealed. And massive WWE Hall of Famers are set to attend the 2024 WWE Draft. Alondra Blaze, JBL, John Bradshaw, Layfield, Teddy Long, among others, for Raw and SmackDown for the WWE Draft. Also, Austin Theory got into a verbal altercation with an actor. Austin Theory. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. But ladies and gentlemen, that is not all. With all this talk about burger after burger after burger after burger, King Jerry Lawler, Sheamus. Now... There's another star being involved with McDonald's. Are these guys getting jobs at McDonald's? Are they going to work part-time, full-time? Are they going to make appearances at McDonald's? Is the WWE about to get a massive McDonald's deal? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we know they've had deals with Slim Jim, deals with Burger King back in the day, um, sponsored by Burger King, all these KFC. Is McDonald's going to be the next one to offer up to the WWE Ladies and gentlemen, Sheamus is talking about wanting to be the new burger, the new McDonald's, not the new Burger King, but the new. Well, no, it could be McDonald's. It could be Burger King. I don't know what's, which way the WWE is going to go in here because wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, guys. We got to pull this up here. I, I want to get this right. Again, we do all news in real time. We do it live for all of you. Why? Because I care about each and every one of you. No, shame. No, we, we, we've had McDonald's. We've had Burger King. I mean, the WWE has been sponsored with many different fast food chains in the past, but now. Yeah, it looks like um, Seamus and Burger King. Let's look it up here. Yeah. <clears throat> Seamus wants to be called Burger King after winning King of the Ring Burger after Burger. after Yeah, yeah. so, you know, satisfy your hunger, whether it be McDonald's, Burger King. Guys, your thoughts, your comments, your opinions. Sean Vigdana keeps you in the know and in the loop on the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the most defiant, the most definitive, the most thought-worthy WWE. And uh, are we going to see another King of the Ring in the WWE Guys, you can only imagine how it's going to go down. How this is all going to play out with Burger King having a synonymous connection to the WWE. Subscribe. More to come throughout the day, throughout the night, every day that ends in Y.